the alphabet boys. <laughs> yeah, alphabet <laughs> boys, boy. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You can't win, bro. I'm telling you, goddamn. Everywhere you go, bro, it's just like fuck. <laughs> All right. So, um, so yeah, so just one setup a day as, as, uh, that's use that as like semen retention to see a setup. So, <laughs> all right. So, Got you, bro. I'm, uh, um, we're going to finish our conversation. I'm going to, uh, just do what I would normally do. So, for you guys, bro, y'all don't even need to show up every day, but just know I send a link. I do this every day, regardless. So, I'll be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just know, though, it, it like there's no pressure or, or nothing like that. You know what I mean? Because this shit right. takes time regardless. So just just know I'm going to be here every day. So if you guys anything pop up, there's no pressure. You ain't got to reach out like boom, boom, boom. Just know that that link here. I'm doing this shit regardless. This is how this is this. I want this to be my profession and my career. With, right. But not letting everybody know, though, like I'm really trying to do this and really. um. So. It, right. Yeah, just y- y'all cool. This is definitely good motivation though, and it's good content that I could um that I could utilize for sure. But it's it just yeah, it's no pressure, bro. You know what I mean? Y'all show up when y'all want. I'll be here. I'll send the link out. It's the same Google link every um. You know where to find me. Oh, bet I can hear you now, Brody. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, hey, Banks. This is my what's bro. Good world, with you, Josh? What's good, bro? I'm good, brother. How are you, man? I'm living good. I'm, I'm great, bro. Just trying to learn. Nah, same here, man. Trust me, I don't, I don't know shit. That's why I've been, I've been jumping on these calls with Will for the last, like, four or five days. He's trying to learn. <laughs> All, yeah, right. Bro, All right, so we're going to get right back to the teaching. Because, basically, I've been kind of, like, uh, I feel like I've been water hosing you, for real, for real. Like, because I've been trading live, and I've been trying to explain it to you where I, I'm, I'm skipping, like, steps, like, you know, you right. still don't even know what a pip is. You know what I mean? Like, so we got to go over a pip. The the how you get paid. Like, you ask a good question. Every ten pips is ten dollars. We need to go over like that before. I was just trading live, and I already done showed you the setups and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I but that's good though. That's good though. At the same time, so I'm about to um. It's Friday. We got news at eight thirty. So every yeah, them numbers come out. That new number come out. Yeah. Right so every day, uh, not every day. So every, but every day I go in here, I go to Forex Factory. So y'all will want to bookmark this in y'all tab. So when y'all wake up, you know what I mean. Do what y'all do to get right, good in a good me- uh, headspace. I-, I don't like smoking too much because when I get high, I be getting real confident. And next thing you know, I done <laughs> I be high as fuck, taking like five trades. Like. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that shit look good, bro. A minute, bro. And that, 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 shit, ain't, that shit ain't cool. Because we competing against, like, top-tier competition. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we, we ain't perfect. Shit. But, yeah, we're algorithms, yeah, computers. So you still want to make sure mentally you sharp. So, all right, we got PPI numbers at 830. Yo, let, let in my – um. I just joined from my laptop. All right, man. Yeah. Yeah, all mm-hmm. right. Man. So we got uh we got PPI numbers here at 8 30. So at eight you want to look for red folders. Like every day there'll be news here, no red folder. So that's just gonna be a normal day. I like normal days. I really don't fuck with news for real because news come and it just fuck shit up, bro. It's like we had a party, we vibing, the girls is vibing, and news is like is like the rap star or or the nigga coming in here with the chains. Like the whole energy just got got like we on a whole different vibe now. So um that's how kind of news is. So basically, basically the real world news affects the money. Yes. Basically. Yes, it affects it in a big way. So all the shit I've been looking at in real life affects the money. Absolutely. We right. gonna we're right. gonna talk about COVID. I show Banksy COVID. We gonna talk about how they finessed us with COVID. We we are gonna look at the money. Right. The event was the jab. Uh, everybody going. To, we on a platform, so I respect them. But but it was all of that. <laughs> it was all of that bullshit they was talking about for real. And then we going to see the direct correlation with the money. Got you. Got you. What they do is they get us emotional, and they focus on that bag. Right. Right. They, 
they tell us some bullshit that don't even gotta make sense. <laughs> and they get that money. And and I, I want to talk to you about some shit too, world as like what where um like as far as um you know what I mean your culture, like what how y'all view money and shit like that. But let, let let's focus on this first. So uh Friday, 8 30, you got PPI. So you don't need to know news, bro. There's some people like like the top people I learn from, bro. They don't oh damn, this trade hit. Right. This this was a good trade right here. This trade hit. And we'll we'll go over why this trade hit. Let me see if I can get in some. So I and a lot of people don't do this. A lot of people gonna show you trade and view. We going I'm gonna talk to you about how to spot out the fakes too. You know what I mean? A lot of people gonna show you this. Like here on the right side of my screen, they're gonna show you this and be like, bro, I won the trade, but they're not gonna show you the meta trader. This this is the real deal. This is the numbers. You dig what I'm saying? So right now I got an eight hundred dollar account. So we're gonna see this is a live account. This is real bread, and I'm risking. I'm gonna probably risk. It, it's quarter four, so I typically I would risk ten percent aggressive. This right. That's very aggressive. So I'm risking eighty U.S. dollars a day. If I if I hit, right. I'm making eighty. If I lose, the most I lose is eighty, and and I call it a day after that. I get. And, and the reason why one trade is important, too, because now it forces you to be very precise. Is we have one bullet in the gun, so everything has to line up. The setup has to be high probability. I, I don't want to be no trader, for real. Like, I'm not here to be on my shit till 4 third. Like, I'm here to, to, to make money and, and pursue creative outlets. Nigga, I'm black, nigga. You know what I mean? Nigga, I'm trying to rap and shit. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I'm trying, damn it, man. I'm trying to be a star. I'm not trying to be here. <laughs> but but this is how I do that, though. This is how I get to, to there comfortably. So so this is my real account. Uh, this is live money. I, I'm going to show you how to withdraw. They're 4,404. Y'all don't need to start with a lot. People think you need to start with a lot. The pe reason why you want to start with a lot is so you don't got to take too much risk. But if your skill set is good, Man, get the if your skill set is good, it's going to take time. It's not going to be no next day shit. But within three months, three months, you can easily turn fifty dollars to three hundred and fifty dollars. Wire right. out one fifty and keep that shit moving, bro. Absolutely. But you got to have the right mindset. You can't be too. Yo, bro, I'm about to turn fifty to five hundred million. I'm about to turn fifty to a hundred thousand in thirty days. No, 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 no. The fact that you even said that and you're coming off like that, you're going. You're not ready. You're not ready. You're not ready, bro. Yeah. And you got to get humbled. I got humbled like a motherfucker. I can show y'all, bro. Look at this shit, bro. This was 2023, bro. Uh, 2022. This was my ultimate get out of jail card, bro. Like this is how I'm trying to free myself from the shackles of 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 slavery, nigga. I'm gonna right. show. You. This is what I was wanted to do. 2022, I put three bands, three thousand dollars. I worked hard for this shit too, bro. I worked hard for yeah. this shit. I put three thousand dollars January second. This is this is how the beginning of my year went 18, 22, 24, 56, 33, 35, 13, 23, lost three in a row, made $142. Now this is cool, but I over risked. After I took right. these, after I took these three losses, I emotionally went on tilt. Tried to compensate. I tried right. to compensate. And I got lucky enough, it worked. Looking in the moment, I was hyped, but looking back at it, this is a very immature approach because this is right. luck now. I, I'm no longer trading at that point. I'm gambling, I'm right. gambling, and I got lucky. Boom, 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 boom. So, pretty much, I was going back and forth. I had this is like break even. This is like I'm winning, I'm losing, I'm winning, I'm losing, I'm winning, I'm losing, I'm winning, I'm losing. I'm, winning, I'm, I'm getting lucky on a couple big joints. Let me go to January 21st. So, the first three weeks. The first three weeks, I was up like three hundred and something dollars, and then look right here, bro. I went on the ultimate tilt. I lost eighty one, eighty two, four hundred and eighty, one thousand four hundred and eighty five dollars, three hundred and seventy dollars within forty five minutes, bro. Damn, Damn. On self destruct mode. I was on self destruct mode. I went from three bands to six hundred dollars. Damn. 
and it ended it, bro. And that was the last, that was the last shock I needed, bro. Like at that point, I went numb. I went numb, bro. Like it it, it numbed the fuck out of me, bro. So I'm telling y'all that. <laughs> y'all, y'all in a good, yeah, no, for real though. Like that shit, like white white folks commit suicide and shit over this type shit. You see what oh, I'm yeah. saying? Absolutely, bro. Absolutely. Bro, bro. Every day, bro. And this this is why they keep this this shit from us for the most part like everything they do you know they they know about karma you know what i mean they know about that shit so from their angle is we're protecting y'all like we know y'all are going to go out here and jump in face first and risk everything and lose everything that's that's what they were saying banks when everybody was getting into it in 2020 with mm-hmm. game stop they was trying to stop this shit because yeah, we see the good, but there's also a negative. Every good has a negative. So what is mm-hmm. the pro to people making all of this money and doing this? Well, on the opposite end, you're going to have poverty. You're going to have that. That That is the trade-off. So we're going to go over the, the 10 principles. Everything has a trade-off. Everything you do, there's a trade-off involved with it. You got to know that. So, um, yeah, bro, but that numb me, bro. So I, I tell y'all that, the like, this shit, this shit, this shit, yeah, this shit, this shit. It, it ain't gonna happen like how you think it's gonna happen, bro. Like I had a plan <laughs> to go from three k to ten k by April, cause I was winning. Like I, 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 I was profitable technically. Like I, I knew these charts. I knew what my setups looked like. I knew what I was doing. But the emotional aspect of it, that's a completely different game. And everybody gotta learn that the hard way. Y'all gonna, I could tell y'all. But once y'all really get good at this shit and y'all start getting confident and winning trades on y'all own, then y'all are going to go through the emotional part because at that point, it's just y'all. And, and that's the point I want to get. You know what I mean? Everybody be independent. Y'all y'all call out y'all old setups. So, all right. So let's get back to it. So, yeah, pretty much, bro, this is uh these candlesticks. So it's all transactions. Like, you got all of these are currency pairs. So every country got a central bank. So it's a central bank of the U.S. dollar and the economy of the U.S. dollar versus Japan. Right now, this is U.S. dollar versus Japan, ja- uh, between yeah. Japanese yen. Yeah. So their economy. So what makes up these numbers? You got the GDP, which is gross domestic product. That's how much you're importing versus you exporting. So from Jamaica's perspective, let's say uh, y'all coffee is very good. So let's say. Y- y'all will have to build up the brand and the marketing to the world on a global aspect to where y'all are exporting y'all coffee. So the same way America has a Starbucks in Jamaica, Jamaica needs to have whatever coffee shop they have in America as well. So now right. that increases y'all GDP. So y'all import it, it, it's assets and liabilities. It's how much you're spending versus how much you're making. Okay, I just spent $30 on food. What am I spending thirty dollars on? That's making me thirty dollars. Mm. If you don't have that, then you have a negative GDP, and and, and your currency pair is going to look like this. Let me show you. Um, this is what your currency pair are going to look like. What's the name of Nigeria? Shit, Naira. Uh, Naira, Naira. This is what your shit going to look like. If you have negative GDP, if you got more liabilities than assets, then this is this is the U.S. verse. So let me reverse it. Let me show y'all Nigeria, not Nigeria USD. This is how you visualize the money. So if you got more assets, okay. than liabilities. <clears throat> This is what your shit going to look like. So this is the value of Nigeria's currency on a global scale. Shit. Okay. Absolutely. So this would be like if you're trying to buy USD with Nigerian. That's why it's on the downtrend as opposed to when you flip it and put USD yes. to Nigerian. If you get what I'm saying. So, so right now I'm seeing NGN USD. Yes. But before I saw USD NGN. Yes. And it, and both trends were different. One was yes. going up, and now one is going down. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Okay. You're absolutely, you're absolutely on the money. You absolutely right. on the money. Uh, we can do Jamaica too. Y'all, y'all is on here. That shit's gonna look funny. A and B. 
U.S. dollar. <laughs> She's supposed to, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, so that's what it looks like. So now you get something called geo arbitrage, and this is how these institutions, this is how Citigroup, Trace Bank, this is how they trade. They trade too. They got to trade the floor. They've been doing this for hundreds of years, bro. You could trade futures. You could trade water. You could trade corn. You can trade yeah. cattle. And America, nigga, they traded us, nigga. Right, money. Hey, yeah, oh, 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 talk to me. Yeah. They traded us. <laughs> you could put you could put USD versus niggas on a chart and, 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 <laughs> and trade that shit. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> Talk to me, bro. We finally, we this is the great awakening. We 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 see and we come with no harm. It's no harm, you know what I mean? It's just bro, niggas is tired of being broke, bro. Like, what Fuck. do you expect niggas to do? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck is you talking about? You know what I mean? And then we <laughs> so we for real, this is why we need to lead, lead the world because you always got the bad mind people. You you always got the bad apples, of course, bro. You ha you have those in every single group, but for real, bro, niggas will give all that money and get that shit away, bro. Fucks, yeah, fucks. Even the stimmy checks. <laughs> but <laughs> but even <laughs> but even if we controlled it, right? And this could be me being naive, but even from a love standpoint, I still give it away. This shit, this shit don't mean as much to me as it means to them. Right. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> like Bob Fuck. Marley, I, I seen they asked Bob Marley, like, is you rich and like rich in what way? Like, Definitely. you know, so y'all already had that spirit, bro. And, and we had that spirit, but but we we can't keep being on the bottom though. Hell no. Nah. You can't keep taking that shit for granted. Hell no. Nah. Right. So that's just how I see it, bro. So uh um, agreed. Yeah, yeah so, talking that shit this morning, really, D. Yeah, I hit the bone too, bro. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> so you just already back. You already backed out of what you said earlier. <laughs> I, I, I'm not taking no trades today. We got exactly. news. Oh, we got news in oh, five yeah, the minutes. New number. That's what. Yeah. Yeah, bro. And, and this I comes to discipline. Yeah. This is how we we win, bro. Is we just not wild niggas. They think we're gonna come in here and be wild niggas. You know what I mean? But we are. We calculated too. So no, nah, I'm not trading news. Y'all can do whatever y'all want to do, but me personally, in five minutes, this shit either go. Y'all gonna see this shit either spike up, go fucking super crazy. Niggas gonna lose their accounts because niggas is out, bro. I think it's gonna be a big number. I think it's gonna be a decent number from what yeah. I was reading. Yeah, not like anything crazy, but I think it's going up. Yeah, let's see. PPI. So PPI is what uh, per, uh, producer price index. Uh, change good and services excluding food and energy um so actual is good for the currency um so so yeah if it's if it's a good number it looks like shit should go up let me there's a dude i follow for fundamentals I, i'll give you i was thinking about jumping in a little apple day trade that expires next week if the number is nice absolutely absolutely um what's this nigga's name capital hunger Yo, this nigga right here is really good on fundamentals. Uh, Pakistani and nigga um, makes good money too. He makes about fifteen, fifteen, twenty thousand per trade. Um, nice. Yeah, good money. And, and to be honest with you, world dads, once once I get super profitable in this, bro, I'm leaving. I'm leaving this country, bro. I think I'm coming right. <laughs> to where, I'm coming right to where you at, bro. I'm coming right to where you at, bro. I swear to God, bro. Yeah. Look, look at this chart, bro. <laughs> I would be, bro, imagine, you can't even tell nobody, you know what I mean? Like, you can't even, I already know, you know, and be nervous as hell talking about, no, nah, I don't go back there. But I'm like, man, I, I mean, I'd rather die there than here, bro. <laughs> yeah, Jamaica, Jamaica is nice, bro. It's just Jamaica is nice, bro. Bro, we That's, was in well, just era. like America. America Talk is to nice, me. too, but certain places are hard, bro. Man, that's the way it is, bro. That's the way it works. Philadelphia, bro, there's a new drug in Philadelphia now. You heard about that, bro? Tell, yeah. tell yeah, me about yeah. it, yo. You, you heard? <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Worse than you know what the fuck yeah, man. <laughs> uh, you just coming up with new drugs like in the end of the year, nigga. Yo, new drugs. <laughs> New like we ain't already see enough death this year. Now y'all dropping new drugs. <laughs> we got some new shit for y'all niggas. 
Yo, Celine Dion got fucking stiff person syndrome. Yeah, uh, I that's seen a new that. ad, that's a new disease. That's from that thing. That's from that yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's from the that juice. thing. Oh, 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 be careful, be careful, bro. Be careful. Yeah, just the juice. Oh, yeah. I'm very aware. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 ah, these niggas is crazy. Yeah, and, and they don't be that way though. Fucking All right, but so look, bro. So this is Nasdaq. Uh, so I trade Nasdaq, which is uh the U.S. 100. So this is kind of like the start mark, start market. This is a uh, um, what do they uh confluence? Like you say, Banksy. This is this uh includes Apple. So Apple's included. Yeah. Nasdaq, uh, Microsoft, all of these type companies. This is in a very aggressive pair. Uh, so you got to be careful with this pair. I, I, um, I still, but my main thing is gold, which is a commodity. Um, gold's a good pair to trade, super volatile, um, good patterns. Once we go over the setups, it's just pattern recognition, seeing the patterns. This was a, um, that's the shit. That's the shit I want to understand. Yeah. yeah. So it's pattern recognition. So understanding each time a, a candle opens up, so y'all can see my screen good right let me just yeah man let me just make this bigger all right so each each member it's transactions so when you see this candle right now this candle is still open so it's still moving slightly if y'all can see it going up and down so this is 30 minutes worth of data just view it this is 30 minutes worth of transactions and for this on this 30 minute time frame it was buying it 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 was green it was up so for this 30 minutes everybody were bought what they were buying into gold so the price of gold is increasing from 1802 to 1806 to 1811 15 it's fluctuating now right if you can see the, the buyers were here, but it's wicking down. So this right here is called a wick. This little stem. Yeah. That, that candle's leaving. That that's called a wick. So that means okay. as, as people are buying, people are also selling. Right. Uh, you know. So basically, I mean? so so question. Is it is it taking the general flow of that pair for 30 minutes yeah that's what it's doing right like in general what the fuck is happening so is it a net positive versus a net negative yes. correct yeah for 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 uh, that 30 minutes cool cool cool, okay. cool. so that's what I'm all right so here go news so let's see what this shit do this shit about to just go crazy let's see two one let's see uh, Bumbo, you see what I'm saying? Now you could make a lot of money off of this. Don't get me wrong, niggas have sex. Damn. Oh <laughs> shit! Yeah, people getting rich right now, but there's people also losing. So let's of go to the, this. Is so this is one minute. Uh, now this is this is the one minute time frame. So this okay. is this is one minute. Just this candle alone, this red candle that y'all seeing right here. This is just one minute worth of data. Oh shit! Worth a transition. So now you see a wick. So look, sellers came in, they pushed price down. Now you starting to see buyers come in. So now buyers wicking price up. Sellers is taking over. Buyers is still stepping in there. This is buying, selling. So now at this point, we're going to see if there's more buyers or are there more sellers in the market. If there's more sellers, the candle is just going to keep pushing down. Right, because it's losing value. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. It, because why the fuck would you sell it? <laughs> right? like, yep, yep. It, it, it's losing value. <laughs> right, 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 right. It's losing value. So now this, we we didn't even go over the setups. All of this, this is just understanding what this shit is, how the market works. Um, yeah, man, bro. Yep. Excellent job, bro. Excellent. Perfect, perfect. So yeah, so each candle opens up. So and they're going to leave wicks. So the wicks are where the buyers and where the sellers are. So right now this candle's wicking up. So that means that there's more buyers, and if there's more buyers, the candle will turn green. See you know, exactly. You see what, oh, okay. You see what I'm saying? So now let's just chill. Let's just chill. This is a lot. I ain't gonna trade today, but let me show you a setup. 
I'll show you. This is pattern recognition now. All this shit I just went over, that's good. So you can kind of understand, like, for yourself, become confident with the fuck going on. But as far as making money, you don't need to know none of that shit or what I just said. I'm about to just show you. All you need to know, and sometimes y'all going to realize learning one thing it, it is way better. In this industry, there's a lot to learn. Right. <laughs> Knowing less is more. I swear right. to God focusing on one thing is more i even made it a screensaver on my phone it's it's a it's a bruce lee quote i fear not the man who has practiced ten thousand kicks once but i fear the man who has practiced <laughs> one kick ten thousand times <laughs> it's like a jutsu nigga it's like a fucking rasenga nigga <laughs> 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 Well, that do sound like some sensei shit. Yo, that's not some Kamehameha shit, nigga. That's some serious shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 if you guys approach it that way, I'm telling you, bro, like, there's so much you can learn, and I tried fishing around in different things, and, and you still got to experiment on your own. Do your own thing. But I'm telling you, just knowing one setup extremely well, well enough to where you're mm. confident. And this is where I'm still trying to get to. You're confident and you trust in that with your life to where there's no more. Emo you, you have to get so confident in that setup Technical. Mm. Tech tech where you know <laughs> it. Like, where, bro, you got to see World Dads play the motherfucking guitar, bro. He played a bass, bro. Yeah, and and, and 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 you know it, you know like you you in that rhythm, yeah. with it. like you you feel it. <laughs> and there's certain people at this shit where they've gotten to that rhythm with it, where they feel it, bro. You can go a bro. whole month without losing, bro. Bro, you bro. can you you can really yeah, bro. It, it it's a craft, bro. It's a skill set. It's an art, it's bro. A craft. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a craft, bro. And one thing, knowing once, yeah, and that's the thing. Once you get good enough, it become a game, a competition. It's a game. Yeah. Right. It's a game. It's not even about the money. I don't even put the most money in this joint. It's about the skill set and, and being good at yeah. what I do, bro. Because once you, like you said, D, once you unlock the code, it's a wrap. You know what I mean? It's like the game. The 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 world is now yours. There ain't no rules for this shit no more. <laughs> it's, it's open to you. Yeah, and, and and it sucks that 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 we have to you you gotta work to get to that point. You dig what I'm saying? But you do, bro. But the and, process yeah. is beautiful, but that's just, bro. But that's like about that's exactly what you just said. That's what makes it beautiful. It's like you gotta. This shit ain't easy. It ain't nothing that it's that's gonna give you this type of happiness and freedom. Gonna be easy, dog. Like, right. Yeah, that was my yeah, problem for years. I I used to try to. I mean, it's also because of how social media and, and internet and the technology is set up. It's almost like we want everything really fast. Yes, Instead sir. of maps and brooms, we're using fucking vacuums. Instead of horse and <laughs> carriage, we're using fucking super fast cars. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? So we, we kind of skip the journey yeah. a lot. A lo and we, we're kind of thinking about legacy before it's even fucking done. Like, nigga, <laughs> fuck the legacy. Just do the work and then let's see what the fuck happens at the end. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's how I start look at it, you know. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, man. All right, so y'all can see this thirty-minute candle. This is the news candle. So this is an eight thirty, eight candle, eight thirty candle. This candle is going to close at nine o'clock. See. And then a new candle is going to open. It's going to be the nine a.m. candle. That's going to close at nine. And then the nine thirty candle going to open. That's going to close at, at at ten. And then those two candles are going to create the hourly candle right so you got all of these different time frames but they all work together they all of work. course it's okay. the same thing it's, it's the just same smaller, thing. just mm -hmm. like you zoom in like perfect just, that's a perfect right, right. way to look at it so you're zooming in and always zooming now is going to give you the best view right zooming now is going to give you the best view so for me i i i start you zoom out to see the trend 
to see overall are we are people buying into yeah. this shit or are they selling into this shit? Right, right, right. Because I just want to go with them. We're little. Well, so like, but for a day trader, like you, would you say the largest zoom out you would zoom out is a day, a day, or less than a day? Uh, 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 for real, for real, bro. You could do an hourly, but okay, do, do the daily to 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 increase precision. Cause, cause we we want to be really good at what we do, bro. And I got like a seventy two percent win rate. Nice. So that's good. Bro. It's Congrats. good. And, and I trade one to one. So <laughs> that that means with a with a one to one for every I'm just it's it's, it's a flat thing. So for every ten dollars, if I risk ten dollars, I'm trying to make ten dollars. Right. So now that that's a low risk to reward though. To be honest, like to 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 real traders that do this in the industry, they're looking at like a three to one. They're right, at making if they risk ten dollars, they want to make thirty dollars. You see, but that three to one is three to one is still seventy five percent. So you're not far off. Yeah, you're not you're, you're not far off. Uh, yes, because you're at seventy two, right? Yeah, I'm at seventy two. So you're almost three to one. Yeah, almost three to one, bro. Yeah. So, so, um, but, but, so, all right. So this thirty minute candle still open. You can see it's leaving a wick. So now y'all know whenever y'all see this wick, just know that it used to be red, but there's people buying into this into this candle. And this is kind of like residue. Like this is the right. residue or or the the uh leftovers of the trap now, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. The bomb just went off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the residue, bro. So so what did Nasdaq? Oh my God! Look at Nasdaq, bro. Oh shit! And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, by the end of the day, this shit gonna fuck around and be green. Yeah. This this That's gonna fuck around and shoot up. That's how this shit be going, bro. It's a lot of reversal. So you see these little ass candles right here. This yeah. one big ass candle came, took out all of this, took right. out all of this just for it to go back up so this is money and, and, and I, i'm not gonna skip too far ahead but just know you're gonna start having now this is the technical you're gonna have a support you're gonna have something called a support and something called a resistance all right so this is a support these this right here is a support now why is this a support because you have this candle left a wick a big wick this candle left a 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 wick you can even move this line up a little bit and even this candle left a wick so you got one two three four five six candles wicked up and they could not close below this level so it, it looks like an imaginary level but then when we kind of zoom in you can see Oh no, these candles are being held up. This is like the floor. These candles are being held up by this price right here. So we put a red line there. Yeah, so there's something special about that price. There's some, and, and what is special about that price? That's where the money is at. So now you got to understand something called liquidity. So that means that's what they think it's worth, right? Yeah, that's what they're that's what they're trying to set the price. That's at. the consensus worth. That's the consensus price right yeah. there. Right, right. So that's where the money is at. So now you have something called liquidity. And this is an algorithm. It is ran by liquidity. So you're always going to have places where people agree. And that's where the consensus is. And the money starts to build behind there. And then it's going to come up. And there's going to be a resistance. So if you see, this is a resistance because one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight candles could not close above this little area right here so now we have the floor and we have the ceiling See. so now price these candles are just bouncing between this area they're, they're wicking above it yes but none of them there's no buy yeah. but there's bad. no majority yeah <laughs> like like i a shit ton of people not going above or below right there. Exactly. Exactly. Right, right, and, right, and, right. And, and now this candle, there's a body of the candle 
So so the wick, you got the wick, and then you got the body. The wick is just the 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 thin line, and then the body is that big chunk of the candle. So right. Let me um. Let me pull. It's like it. a literal candle with a fucking wick. Right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Literally, yeah. literally. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this one candle though actually closed above this line, my red line. If you can see, this candle right here, right here, yeah. the body right. closed above. And that was the indication. Yes. Talk to me, Banks. What was it? What was it? That's the indication that it's about a bubble. It means that the buyers got control of the market, at least in that. What do you want? A fifteen-minute window? This is on the thirty-minute. Thirty. So it just okay. means that thirty minutes that the buyers took okay. over that market for that time being. Which hey. I don't. Bro, again, I'm only in this shit for like a combined thirty days of of research. But from my understanding, that is a strong indication that it's going to okay. shoot up for at least the time being. Yeah, absolutely right. Okay. Also, it burst the fucking ceiling. It burst the fucking ceiling. Yeah. Right, right. And it the rest of them weren't bursting the fucking ceiling. They were not bursting. <laughs> but right. it, it works the same thing for the floor as well, though. For the floor, the too. Right, 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 right. right. Yes. Yeah. See. Yeah. See. Bet. 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 That makes sense? Yeah, that yeah. Plenty of them. This is a so. lot. This is a lot. And this is all just context. So when I say, when I say, I like pancakes. That's the setup. But when I tell you why, oh, I like I like pancakes because the sir, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. That, that's the context. That's the context. That's what I'm trying to learn. Exactly. So when Hold I on, say that again, so, so okay, I'm stupid. Okay, enough. okay, okay. So. No, no, great. And keep keep asking questions and interrupting, bro. That's, I mean, not interrupting, but keep asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, keep asking questions. Anything you got, bro, I, I promise. Because it's helping me, too, bro. I, I'm only a year right. and a half into this shit, bro. I'm no professional, bro. This is just this is just my understanding of it. You're too. just further ahead. Yeah. I'm just by, by maybe one by one and a half step. Right, so, right, right, right. Perfect. Yeah, I'm not 10 steps ahead, so I'm not right. like, yeah, perfect. All right, so uh, if I say Marcus Garvey is a great leader, that that's the setup. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. Now, if I tell you why, because I like the uh, I, 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 I like the way he traveled to all of these different places. I like the organization, the NAIA. Right. If I, that's the context to the statement. And what does the context do for you? So what I'm explaining to y'all right now is the context. Same. We're not even getting on the setup yet. I, I didn't even tell you okay. the setup. This is all just for y'all understanding of when y'all look at this chart, what the fuck am I looking at? Because when you first look at this chart, it's like, bro, I don't know what the fuck this means. Right. But exactly. now, when, but now when you kind of zoom in, y'all gonna get to the point where it's like, oh no, no, I see a support right here. I see a resistance right here. I see that a candle okay. body closed where it broke the ceiling, where none of these right. candles were able to break the ceiling, and price kept going up. So this is all just context of the market. So now, y'all, this is a support. This is a resistance. If you could see, and for me. A resistance only needs to be uh two candles. So so this would be another resistance right here. And then this would be another resistance right here. So now when people start putting lines on their charts, they doing that to kind of map out where the money at. So support resistance. All right. So so let's do it again. So floor right here because we got these two candles these two candles bet floor that's an easy floor right there it's like easy. four of them four perfect yep it's four of them yep you see it right you, yep you see it and then here goes another ceiling yeah up there yeah i'm see it okay so no this shit like an imaginary friend nigga. i'm seeing it <laughs> <laughs> i'm seeing it <laughs> bet all right, so now, 
let's go over the setup. So y'all kind of understand support resistance. Uh, you got the 30 minute, you got the one hour. These are all just higher tie frames. This is a one hour? This is the one hour time frame. This shit was going crazy. Yes. Yes. You can see it leaving look wigs. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> yep. Yep. And now I, I, I we'll go over some shit, but let me just go. And this is the four hour time frame. Mm. So four of those one hour candles all put into one candle representing four hours worth of data. This is all four hours worth of information. Right. I and question. Um yep. I guess um depending on how much money you have in well, how much money you have to leverage, it would benefit you looking on like longer time frames, right? Like for instance, if I have ten thousand dollars in it. It would benefit me looking at because I'd have more to leverage. So it would benefit me looking at like a longer, like a four hour time frame a lot. No, no. Okay. No, no not at all. Not at all. So the 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 longer tongue to, uh the longer time, time frames mm -hmm. means the longer you have to wait for the trade to play out. So right. So what I was saying, because I have more money, maybe I could wait longer. You get what I'm saying? You you can. Now that's a different type trader. That that's that's a swing trader. Okay. So okay. you got some people that swing trade, they hold their trades. They they only yeah. trade on the four hour and they're they're waiting for a support, they're waiting for a ceiling to bust, or they're waiting for the floor to break, and and they'll hold that trade till tomorrow. Seen. okay okay yeah you know, yeah they'll have it on their phone and you'll just see the fluctuation of the profits like if you're up four thousand dollars you'll be up boom 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 i don't swing trade Seen. Seen. It, it, you that shit's way too hard the motherfucking map out what these folks is going to do bro like <laughs> right 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 britney griner come home <laughs> and, and, <laughs> And for some reason that 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 affect the markets, and and now the whole it like bro, I, I don't swing trade, bro. But hey, Willie, look for the fucking whatever markets. All right, so you know that they they, they traded her for the fucking Russian arms dealer, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can you can expect that nigga to start back work soon. <laughs> <laughs> He's Fact, about to bro. start back work pretty soon. <laughs> All right. Right. all right so whatever so, market he was selling i think it was africa or whatever yeah, or, you know what africa, I mean? like, bro. Yeah. yeah he about to get busy bro yeah bro <laughs> he's old yeah. yeah that's just sad bro that's yeah. just sad. <laughs> i mean i'm glad that she's home still but at the same time could you not trade lebron for ramon sessions that's yeah, crazy yeah, yeah. <laughs> wild as fuck bro <laughs> wild as fuck bro Them, and, and and with that show though but so for me my perspective is like that that u.s passport was always valued like no matter where you went in the world if you had that u.s passport nigga and you got the embassy number you had a privilege and a leverage in a global standpoint but that mm -hmm. show that show in russia is it they saying fuck that this is a different dynamic that's showing that Russia has a little type of power where they they, they, they negotiate and it ain't no handover. Right. Does that make I mean sense? also I mean also what you just said they have the US passport has power. So that's why they could get a fucking arms dealer for a, a regular girl, yeah. a basketball player. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like just yeah. the value of her is just as valuable as valuable. a Absolutely. criminal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, right. very true. Yeah, very so true. Gonna... Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, all right. So look, so uh so you can see on on the 30 minute time frame, this is wicking up. So this means buyers is just is just coming into this shit. And then if you look on the 15 minute time frame, you'll be able to see it now. So now you can see the red candle. And me personally, bro, I trade on the five minute time frame. So this is where I look for my setups. I'm a scalper. I'm in and out of the market. I, I just right. want, I just want small moves. And it doesn't matter about the capital. You can leverage it the same way. The amount of money you have is regardless. There's there's a lot of scalpers 
making more money than swing traders. Absolutely. You see what I'm saying? So right. But it's all preference. Me, I know I'm not that smart. So I know I might be able to get a portion of this shit. Well, well, I get the whole move. I, I, I have no clue, bro. I, I'm not that smart. I, I try to get my uh -huh. tips and call it a day, bro. I just need quick, short moves. I'm in and out of the market and I'm done with this shit, bro. You see what I'm saying? Because oh, this should go turn me into a nerd, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get really bro, fucking yeah, good at yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I do the five minute, bro, and also swing trade and test your emotions because you right. you may be up two hundred dollars, and now you going negative one hundred dollars. That that could fuck with your psychology. Like you got to be able to handle going through. They call that drawdown. So you got to be able to handle being up, right. price pulling back, just to go up again. I didn't. I ain't got time for this shit to play with my emotions like that, nigga. Like, I, right, I, right, right. You see what I'm saying? So I'm in and I'm out, bro. Like, if I'm up, I'm taking my profit, calling it a day, and and that's just what it is. So I trade from the five minute. So let me show you a setup. So this this is all I'm looking for. All the shit I just told you is context. Uh, it sound good. That's how niggas make their money by selling this shit. This sounds smart, but they not showing you the motherfucking money setups. This is the setup. This is all I'm looking for. Banks, when it comes to the options, do you have a specific? How are you gauging um, when, when your entries and your exits? Yo, why can't I see your shit? You can't see me. Hold on, let me see. Let me try, let me try something. My shit been on some nut shit since I got on this call. This shit on YouTube right now too, so you can go to YouTube and watch this shit. Uh -huh. Hey, I'm about to I'm about to jump out and jump back in because I just looked at my screen and it's not showing me nothing right now. All right, all right, but I, I got you. I'm gonna answer your question in two seconds. Yeah, come right back in. All right, let me show you a setup. I'll show you a pit. You got a uh, pen and paper, bro? No, no pen and paper. Um, mm. a... you don't need it right now, but I want okay. you to um, I want you to draw these setups, bro. Right. Yeah, man. Draw this shit because this is all we looking for. This is it. Everything I just said is good, and that's how, like how the market move. But this is all I'm looking for right here. Hold on. I bet. Hold up the Discord. And I don't want to overwhelm y'all, so we going let me know when y'all when y'all brain like. Do so I have this? Oh, bet, bet, perfect, <laughs> perfect. 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 Hey, and let me know when y'all brain tap out too, bro. Cause we could this is another reason why I only trade like one, two times max. Like they said that our brain is really only capable of making like three strong emotional decisions per day. Like we we have a certain type of willpower and then we get fatigued, like we get tapped out and shit. You see what right. I'm saying? So right. I, I don't like to waste the shit. And so and then you get to the point of diminishing returns where you just doing shit but it's really no longer giving any type of result it's just you uh, I, I don't know like trying to feel good about yourself or, or compensating but bro you're really not doing nothing bro like <laughs> hey base it was like that at usha you know what i mean like it's yeah. just diminishing returns like you're just trying to feel good about yourself that's all yeah you know which by all means you know what i'm saying so <laughs> yeah right all right, so look, bro, this is the type setup I'm looking for. All right. So what I'm looking for, bro, I go on the five-minute time frame. All, all you really need, look at that, the 30-minute, the one hour. I'll still go over that with you guys so you understand it. But all you really need is to know these fucking setups. Hold up. All y'all need to know is, is this setup is called supply and demand. So I trade supply and demand. And that's what life is all about, bro. Business is about supply and demand. So what is supply? Supply is when there's too much of something. We have too much product. Demand is when there's a lot of buying. We don't actually have, a, we, we got to up our supply. So with anything, there's going to be supply and demand. So if it's drugs, if it's guns, if there's a demand for it, there's going to be a supplier. 
And that's where we lose. We get mad at the supplier not understanding it's two for a transaction. If there's a demand for it, motherfucker, somebody going to supply that. So mm -hmm. you know, we have a responsibility too as a consumer. But all right, so this candle right here, this was at 7.55 a.m. So this is this candle right here. And you could draw this, draw, draw, draw this. Let me pull up this whiteboard real quick. And I'm gonna draw that out too. Yo, Google way better than Zoom. Uh -huh. Nah, yeah, I'll be using Google first too. All right. <clears throat> okay. So I'm looking for a candle. Y'all can just draw this out. I'm looking for a candle. And I want this candle to be small. So there, there's requirements for the candle. Yo, I'm listening to this scissor album. Yo, this one, this one. I, I've been hearing nothing but good reviews about it from what I'm what I'm hearing though. Same. SZA, SZA was always that. No, nah, hell no. Nah. I, wow. I ain't really like tap in like that, but SZA's always she was always dope. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. I still haven't listened to the album yet. I was at the gym. I was like, I can't start my day. So Yo, it's funny. Ann said the same as she, she said she can't listen to SZA at the gym. <laughs> Nah, you know, like maybe if I'm a if I'm going to the gym at like four or five, but it's like I ain't starting my day doing fucking burpees and shit. Got you screaming about you getting cheated on and shit. Yeah. Like, nah, <laughs> that ain't that ain't getting my motivation up. Hey, world as we gonna come back to this Jamaica you at Jamaica uh situation because we're we're about we're about to go through a, a global a global recession. Everywhere, I'm not sure if you feel it already. Do you do you, do you feel yeah, it? Yeah, bro. Everything inflation is obvious. Everywhere, everything is more expensive. Yeah, and I think it's going to lead. To, it's going to lead to a um reset, global reset. Yeah, man. We know yeah. about that, man. Yeah. <laughs> we know about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we going we going through that right now. So, but there's a way we can be uh prepared for real. So. Yeah. Um, um, let me show you. All right, so here go. Um, let me see if this is a good setup. GJ. So this is the tight setup I'm looking for. Um, I might take this trade. I ain't gonna lie. I might take this trade for y'all live. And Banks, like I told him, I got 800 in this live account. Um, mm -hmm. and I'm risking starting in the 2023. I'm risking 10%. So I'm risking eighty dollars per day, which is cool. Right. For, which is cool for me, especially if I can hit a couple good win streaks, um, and control my risks. So if I'm willing to lose eighty, realistically on losing trades, I'm trying to keep that shit forty dollars and under. I'm trying to lose half of what I'm 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 willing to lose. If if I do take right. eight, because there's times where you do got to let it hit your stop loss. Like you do got. So if I do got to take a full eighty dollar loss, I'm cool with that. But I I I want to see some of them losses controlled um, as well, risk controlled as well. So, so that's my plan for uh 2023 with this shit. And I'm gonna see if I can take like this 800. I'm gonna just see what I can do. Like la last year, I tried to do the same thing last year, but I was too aggressive. Think I was too I was overly confident because I knew what I was doing, and I was like, I'm gonna get this at 10 grand. So now i got fucked so i'm gonna I'm a be more humble and just say bro whatever the market i'm gonna just i'm gonna just i'm gonna just Take try what to the market provide what the market provides so there's no number I'm not, I'm not putting no number on what i want that 800 to be i i, I just want to make sure i could keep my 800 my base principle and and whatever god bless me with that's what he blessed me with I, I'm, I'm, I'm that I'm, is it yep yep that's it that's it. Whatever he blessed me with, he blessed me with. And um, the way I'm going to do it is I'm building a buffer on this account. So before I risk the 10%, I'm going to start with 5%. And I'm going to build a buffer of about, I'm going to build that buffer of 5% until I get to like up about 20%. Once I get that count to like 1500 and I got a little bit of room to work with, then I'm going to increase that shit to 10%. And then from there, I'm gonna be aggressive. And then once I could pull out my eight hundred dollars, I'm gonna wire that shit out immediately. So now I'm risk free with my account. And then at that point, just ten percent for the rest of the year. 
And if I see any amazing setups, anything that looks amazing, then 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 fuck it, let's get it. I like so, that. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes yep. sense. And then you also got something called prop firms, which which is new. So if your skill set is good, you got all of these type of prop firms that you could trade for. They'll give you a hundred thousand dollar account, two hundred thousand dollar account. Uh, it's good leverage. You got to pay like it's the five hundred dollars, and they'll give you a hundred thousand. But you got to be able to make ten percent in thirty days. So you got to pass the requirements. Mm. Of oh, nice! It's like a game, nigga. This shit like it, a game. It's like a fucking game, bro. When I got my little jits and shit, my little pick me's and shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, talk, <laughs> I talk in two different languages right now. You hear me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm having a morning shit, bro, and I'm tricking them a little. Now I'm telling yo, this is a game, bro. You look for. I'm telling them small red candle, big green candle. Wait for it to come back in the zone. You press buy, and I'm a, I'm a ingrain this shit into their fucking mental, and then we can either get real nerdy and program a bot, an algo bot, and code it with the the parameters that we're looking for, and it automatically execute for us. But but that that that's the hedge fund, you know what I mean? That that's 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 the big boy money. But all right, so look, this is a good setup, world dad. So. This is a um this is a demand setup. So what I had you write down on your phone, just disregard that real quick. Mm -hmm. So this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for, or maybe you can draw this, draw this one out. This is a demand setup. So you got something called breaker structure too. We'll go over that. And then y'all vision will get good, good. You can even see this is on a downtrend, trend line. Y'all even start drawing out little trends and shit, and y'all start noticing price is respecting here. So that means there's money behind here. This is where the liquidity at. So price is respecting here. Anytime you see a support or resistance, all that means is that there's liquidity. The market runs on liquidity. So it's going to take out this price. This is where people's stop losses are. People are, people are also seeing this downtrend. So people are entering like right here, right here, right here. But all of their stop losses are respecting here. So soon as price comes up, it's going to trigger all of their stop losses out. It's going to take their money. That, that's money that's people losing or that's people, right. people whose orders are at break even. But more of the story, there's orders here. It's going to take that out, either come back or that, that's what it's going to do. But all price really doing is taking out orders. It's, it's all a game of liquidity. So the same way that we win, we also have to lose. Like, right. it's liquidity. That's part of the game. We have to lose. So sometimes even when we go on win streaks, like let's say y'all trade with me, we go on two-week win streaks. Y'all going to start hearing me say, a losing day is coming soon. Like, of course. Like, mentally, yeah. I got I to prepare for that. I can't keep thinking I'm going to win. Eventually, I'm going to become liquidity. It, it, it it's, all, made it's, it's all liquidity. So, I'm like, next so, time we make it, we gotta get two. Okay. That's it. We're gonna just get two. Uh, hold on, let me get this one. All right. So this is what we're looking for, world dad. So we're looking for. We're looking for. This is what we're looking for. All right. We're looking for a week. When it's demand, demand means buy. So when we're looking for a demand setup, I'm looking for a weak red candle. Like you see how th this five minute candle, it it's real skinny. Like it wicked, but look how little that body is. Like that that's a real, right. that's a weak candle. Yeah, what's that mean though? Like from the market perspective, that just means a lot of buyers and a lot of sellers. It, it's indecision. In the, it's indecision. Like Okay. That's indecision. You see these weak type candles, that's indecision. That means like buyers came up, yeah, they doing a little something, but it, it, it's still weak. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. These are strong candles. You see this this candle, this um this yeah. is this is a full healthy candle, bro. This is a healthy candle. Even these are healthy candles. You start seeing right. shit like this. Like, look, bro, this was a bullish candle with a wick. And it still went down. Like it, it's just a weak candle. Like you, you, you don't. That's like an ugly bitch. You know what I mean, you don't pay that shit no more. Yeah, no confidence in that shit. Yeah, no. 
this is a weak red candle. So what we're looking yeah. for is a weak red candle, and then we're looking for a big bullish candle. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this shows that there was weak orders. This is weak order flow, like try eh, indecision. But this shows that buyers they seen that indecision, and they took that price out. They said, "Bet we'll take that bet." Y'all don't know what y'all doing with it. Bet we'll take this shit out of your hands. And buyers stepped in and they took price all the way up. So that is a demand setup. Let me get the chalkboard back out. And this is all we looking for, bro. And and this is y'all first time. This your first. So just absorb it, soak it in. You ain't got because uh, y'all gonna. The more y'all show up, the more this is all I look for, nigga. Like every day, the shit is boring. Like mm -hmm. and it's fun nice. when. If the shit is fun when you trading, then you're gambling, bro. Like there shouldn't be that adrenaline rush. Y'all need it in the beginning because it's good for y'all emotions. But once y'all get like, I saw be moving with ten dollar trade. Yeah, <laughs> that's, fine. that's fine, nigga. Because I do the same thing, nigga. I hop in this trade right now. You going you want, you want hear? <laughs> <laughs> but, but it gets boring. So what I'm looking for is a weak, weak red candle. I want the body to be small. So weak red candle. This is for a demand setup. You can write this down. Demand setup. All we do is supply and demand. Demand setup. I'm looking for a weak red candle with a small body. And then I want the next candle to be big green candle. Number three, leave a gap. And we're not going to go over the gaps right now. Banksy, I know I went over gaps with you kind of early, but that's actually kind of, mm -hmm. that's a lot. I, 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 I'm not even going to start there yet. So the meat, weak red candle, small body, next candle to be a big green candle. And then once I see this set up, bro, I'm simply just waiting for price to come back into the zone. So at this point, what we would do is we would just wait. <laughs> at this point, we would just sit here and just wait, bro. And uh, we would wait for price to come back into the zone. And if it doesn't do it, <clears throat> and then there's no trades that day. So that's that's all the excitement right there. And that's I it. I can tell today's going to be a funky day. Yeah, what's next? Friday, the new number came out. Yeah, yeah. Cause sometimes what these do, they'll let people eat all week, and then Friday they take their money back. Like there, there, there's mm -hmm. certain times you gonna peep in the market, and this is what's important too. It comes with experience, where you peep that they they're just setting traps. Yep. Like it wasn't meant for nobody win today. That's when the shit be like consolidating and shit. It's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> They just, they just, they just, they just fucking with niggas. Yo, this shit technical as fuck. Remember that shit. Yeah. Remember that shit. <laughs> no, I like it. I like it. I like so that's it, it like bro. It. So that's it. So I, I, oh, I, I was, love it. I, this is my setup. This is a demand setup. And I just wait at that point. I'm waiting for price to come back into my box. If it doesn't come back into my box and there's no trades, once it comes back into my box, hey. I'm taking buys for it to go right back up. And this is the setup. This oh, is the Yeah, that's what I that's hey. what I, I started to notice too. Because even in buy low, like, sell high these in future, even on options, it's the similar setup that you still have to look for the similar. It's not all the same, but yeah. for like the S P, it's still that gap that you're looking for. Yeah. Supply and demand, bro. Got you. Buy yeah. low, sell high. Got so, you. Yep. And that's it, bro. So let me show y'all one more setup. I don't think I'm taking any trades today. Let me don't see. Don't do I... it, Willie. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it, Willie. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> let me see if I can show y'all a good demand setup. Hold up. All right. Here go, good one. 
So here goes the setup. Remember, I'm looking for I'm looking for like a mediocre red candle. This candle is mediocre. mediocre. Yeah, I'm looking a for mediocre a, one. Looking for a mediocre red candle. Yeah. I want, I want the next candle to be super green. Right? We got this. It left a gap. So a gap is um this is the algorithm. So the gap is the glitch. This is the glitch that we found in the computer. And all we do is take advantage of this glitch. So this candle, this green candle broke up, created a gap. So now there's no price. So from this wick, the bottom of this wick to here, there's nothing filling this in. There's a clean candle. Right. And so now at this point, the price always has to fill that in. It has to fill that gap in. So right here, it touched it. This is aggressive, but moral of the story, soon as it comes back into this box, comes into our demand zone, we're going to take buys, stop loss right here below this, and we taking this back up. I'm securing my profit right here, and I'm out of this. This piece in the market is all I need. And that's where you, that's where you close the laptop up. And, and then after that, I close the laptop. You see what I'm saying? And, <laughs> and that's, that's a good demand setup. And you can see, even when it comes back, still doesn't come back in the box. Even when it comes back into our box later, this is an even cleaner one. Boom, back in this box. At this point, I'm taking buys. Look, close, wicked in here, rejection. Boom, I'm taking buys right here. My stop loss, it shouldn't come back below this wick. So if it come back below here, I don't want to be in that position no more. It'll stop me out. I'm taking my profit one to one. I'm taking my profit right here. And let's see. Bang. And that's it. So that's a demand setup. So you want to see a mediocre red candle. You want to see a big green candle leaving a gap. You're going to make up a little box. And, and I'll go over how to, uh, y'all can do it all on your screens too, but it leaves the box and you just take buys, bro. And that's it, bro. That's it. Interesting. That was a good, that was a good solid initial session. Some of this you already kind of told me, Yeah. but that was just, uh, this was a much more refined tutorial, Willie D. I'm proud of you. Yeah, absolutely, bro. That is it. And that's it, bro. So every day, man. And and then after that, I, uh, I get some food, smoke some weed, <laughs> and just vibe out. I'm about to do right now before these US that's market. Why trying, that's why I'm trying to get to Jamaica, bro. Like Jamaica, bro. Yo, it's yeah, so bro. nice over there, bro. I would trade in the morning, close that joint out, and just vibe, bro. Like yeah, bro. Go look at some water and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, out there you don't even gotta worry about the charts after you hit your numbers yeah. here. So you don't got shit to do. Yeah, they it's got the park. Looking back. Uh, uh, National Park and shit. That shit was amazing, bro. Yeah. Big statues and shit. You know what I mean? Yo, you yeah, know I what I find out? I, I found out that or I have noticed that. All right, you ever you ever noticed that reggae music isn't that popular amongst Black Americans? You ever, you ever you ever noticed that shit? No, it's getting there. I, I, it's get it's getting there, but it, it wasn't it, it wasn't popular amongst right. white Americans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're he's right. If you right. get what You're I'm right. saying, but mm -hmm. but black Americans really appreciate Jamaica when they come to Jamaica. Absolutely, it's almost like been. a spiritual thing. It's almost it, it it's is. different. It is because you know what it is. We're not used to being around black like that many black a society people. that's run by black, by black people. people that that yeah. like we are so used to white folks bro. like yeah i mean so when you go to jamaica and you see the cops is black the military black right black, it's like oh shit like yeah that shit different bro that nah, shit that's different. Hard. but hey bro out so let's say we're reggae so is 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 chronics reggae yeah man, yeah man, he he's definitely reggae. Cause that nigga, he he's hard, bro. And you know what's crazy, bro? Like, you kind of talked about it too. Like here in America, they kind of turned our music into a commodity. 
You know what I mean? Right. Like, they, they commod they commoditize yeah, bro. our fucking yeah. music. You know, we're, we're, we we became cartoon characters. Y'all just make exactly. music for for therapy and for you know what I mean, free will, shit like that. We make music for strictly <laughs> capitalism. So, there's still soul there. There, there's yeah. soul in there, bro. Like it, it's love there. Our music got so um. Bro, we talk about this shit all the time, bro. Our music got so uh c- commercialized and so commodified yeah. that they have artificial intelligence making these songs now. Like it, it became yeah. so bland that they got, <laughs> they got robots that they can just play like five, ten songs, and it comes up with it. It creates its own right. word, yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. Right. That should. That's crazy, bro. That shit's crazy. <laughs> Taking Art- away the entire like idea entire of what music field. is. Yeah, the entire field of soul. Yeah, a, man. You don't no, even know your favorite not, artist is a robot. <laughs> I mean, because you guys, I mean, all right, so I'm a hip hop head, right? Like, I am a real, like, before 20, I think I stopped listening to hip hop in like 2012 because that's when I noticed that it was getting way too fucking, um, was getting too easy. It was getting. It wasn't real hip hop. It wasn't like the fucking Jay Z's and Cassidy's yeah. and yeah. Joel Santana and you know what I mean Rick Ross and yo. I like real rappers. I, I don't yeah. like these mumbling, jumbling, blue face type shit. I don't like that shit. So I stopped Bro. listening to hip hop. But it got really easy to make y'all shit. Y'all shit used to be hard. Like to go make a Jarul record or a Fifty Cent record was like yeah. that was like. The most amazing shit, but no, it yeah. got so easy. Everybody can sound like Blueface right now, uh, bro. And, and, and Banks, you want to hear something sad, bro? Ooh. Blueface gets played in in Montego Bay. They're, they're playing Blueface. Yes, when yeah, I was, they play yeah, Blueface, bro. Yeah, man, because we're all getting stupid, bro. Like they're making us stupid. <laughs> No offense, bro. I mean, no, I mean, no, you guys no, 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 face, no, bro. That's bro. not real hip hop. To me. I grew that, up no, on Biggie no. Smalls, Tupac. I grew up on all of that shit, bro. And that is a different quality from what I'm hearing. No, Completely. you know what I mean. Just I to be honest, find nobody in this group chat trying to defend Blueface, good brother. I promise you that. Um, <laughs> right, right. Good, 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 good. Bro, yeah, man, bro man. I would, I'm like, bro, they're playing Blueface, bro. Like, yeah, bang. That's when it hit. I'm like, yeah, bro. You know, and and we gotta take some type of responsibility because it's, it's 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 they're the loud ones. You know what I mean? It's like right, yeah, they're the loud ones. You know what I mean? We but it's not just like the we main like, problem is not just the music because I mean I can I can imagine trash music was always being made. It's who is publishing the music? It's who is putting the music out to the masses? And that's not black people. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, it, it's not us. Like good music is still being made. It, yeah, but it it's is. not being pushed to the top. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not, not being, being pushed, pushed out top, bro. on purpose. On purpose, yep. It's all deliberate. Right, bro. because it's easier to it's easier to spew hate and killing and murder playing some Migos. I mean, I like Migos, but it is toxic. <laughs> yeah, it is, bro. It's toxic it, music. Nah. Bro. It's sick music. I, I, yeah, you, you hitting it right on the head. Yeah, but he, 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 he make music, you know what I mean? And he yeah, was right. always, uh, that, uh, of, he, he, he agrees with you 100%, bro. Like, Lil Pump, like, that shit is, that shit is, is, is beyond. It's, yeah. It's a mockery, to be honest, for real, bro. Right. And to be honest, us, we don't know disrespect. To be honest, that shit disrespectful, bro. Like they just nah, right. us right to our fucking face, bro. <laughs> no, nah, that's, a, that's, that's, that's a hundred percent true, bro. And that's what it makes it. It makes it from a, an artist perspective. I know so many people that actually aren't terrible at making music, but they don't even have no place in the game because they're like, bro, I don't want to be a cartoon character, yep. or they're like, bro. I don't want to have to make a TikTok to get famous. You know what I mean? So yep. it's like, but you know they, who I like? Know what doing. You know who I like? That's that's paving the way and that's fighting back. But believe it or not, Glorilla. Right, she, right, 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 right. She, yeah, they we wanted her to change. They wanted, talked, yeah. They wanted her to get her nose done and shit, and she said, "Fuck that! I'm not getting my nose done." They wanted her to, uh, they wanted her to get a BBL. She said, "No, nah, I love my body the way it is," and, and and it's girls doing this. You see what I'm saying? They always want to put it on the niggas. Like we, no, no, it's mm-hmm. really you bitches that are toxic for real. <laughs> you know, 
she said y'all be the ones saying like oh we don't care about niggas but then go get a bbl to get you know what what niggas attention and, and she said fuck all of that bro and that take heart bro because and, and a lot of the th- times bro if we but if we say it and believe it it's true it could be a lie but if we repeat it so when people say oh i gotta do this to get on it's like do you really no do, do you really no. bro or is that no, just something that you're telling yourself bro let me tell you where people get fucked willingly. <laughs> people get fucked because they're not being consistent. It's just like trading. And it's just, it goes back to the same thing you were teaching me about not having greed and controlling your emotions and all of that. Bro, if you do music and just focus on the process and stop focusing on all that satanic money shit, <laughs> that's, when it, that's when you get buying music. I mean, mm-hmm. obviously, you won't be making Lady Gaga money, but you won't be fucking selling your soul either. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? That, I mean, it's just it's just discipline in, in mm-hmm. everything, in yep. everything, whether it's trading, whether it's singing, everything is just discipline. It's discipline, bro. You know? It's discipline. Yeah, man. And, and, and last thing, because I got head out, but last thing, I think the world, we're we going to see the, the fall of America, the, the homogeny that, that America has. We, we're, we're living in, in, in the fall of it. You know what I mean? There's, right. two diff- there's two different Americas right now. Like, and I hate to say it, they brought Brittany Griner home, but, but the America she represent ain't what made America great. But, but last thing, bro, from an artist's perspective, bro, Spotify, because I used to work in the studio. I'm big in the music and shit. Spotify, okay. the blogs, all of these type, yeah, I, I got some shit too, you know what I mean? Cook up, yeah. But all of these, <laughs> all of these things, they're boosting these numbers. So when you get introduced to this machine, yeah, you're getting you're getting that exposure, you're getting that name recognition, but a lot of that is leased. A lot of that, Bro. like you said, you sold your soul. So there's Bro. advances on all of this. This the paperwork, the business is advances on all of this. You're really in debt now. That's all you are. You got all of these things, but you're really in debt. And number two, when the system turns over and now the real is starting to get exposed, the artist, right. the artists that actually have a genuine connection with the people, like fuck, fuck the fuck the mainstream and, and, and all of the social media cap shit in real life. Right. The people here in America, the artists that are going to win for the next five to ten years are the artists that can sell vinyls. Right. The True. artists that can, because it went streaming. You got finesse with streaming. Like, back in our day, the real artists out in the West, they, they sold CDs out of their trunk. They trunk, was doing, right. Like, yeah. fucking um, uh, Master P, he was notorious yes, for that shit. Yes, sir. They yeah, were direct yeah, to yeah. consumer. You had right. to be authentic. You weren't bigger than the people. There wasn't no idol tree and celebrity. Right. It, it, it was still from a you you with the grassroots. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro, roots. grassroots, bro. Right. And now yeah, these yeah, niggas yeah. streaming. You getting paid pennies on the on a fucking dollar. You was getting eleven dollars. Now you get access <laughs> to more. You see what I'm saying? Like you, you you gave up a lot. Now, what you right. benefited though is you get access to more people. You can build an international type thing. But right, the, the grassroots, bro. But is, it is not as it's not as valuable. For instance, one Spotify, I one fan gain from just oh, what's hot on Spotify is different from a fan you make a connection with out of the back of your trunk. Yeah. Wherein, yeah. if you get cancer tomorrow as an artist, it's that over. fucking fan will probably say what the fuck my my fucking boy got cancer <laughs> but the spotify fan would be like oh that's unfortunate you know what i mean that, that yep. i don't know him i mean i buy his i mean i stream his shit <laughs> but i don't know him you know, you know and I mean? it, the value the value yep. is different the value but, and, it, and it's just like i heard my you ever heard of myron allen this is this guy on um he's big on youtube is this motivational speaker guy okay he was saying like a fan, all right, so he does classes and lectures and stuff like that. He was saying instead of trying to get like a room full of 10,000 people for $5 a ticket, he'd probably better forget 10 people for $10,000 a ticket. You understand what I'm saying? Absolutely. So it's like bro. the value of that 10 
getting more money is much yes. better than the value of a lot getting less money. You see what, you know what I'm what saying? Mean? I agree hundred percent, right. bro. Right, right, right. I agree. And I think that the times we head into grassroots times, bro. Like we heading back. Yeah. Things, things have been so fake for so long, bro. And it right. got so extreme that there has to be a balance, bro. There's going to be a pushback. Like that's just that's just a law, bro. So, all right, bet, bro. So, um, so let's do this, man. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna do this little thing too in the WhatsApp where I'm gonna just send you like setups and shit, so you can kind of um just get used to seeing them, like just that pattern recognition of seeing them, seeing them, seeing them, seeing them. That's definitely gonna help. Um, yes, bro, bro. Thank you so much for the lesson this morning. I really, I really appreciate it. Got you, bro. Yeah, I got brother you. Brother Banks, one love, brother. Yeah, I think he might have got disconnected. But all right, bro. So yeah. I'm gonna send you uh I'm gonna send you some patterns and then on Monday, uh Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's about to be the holidays, though. Boy, I I'll be on next Monday. So it's just gonna be the same link. Just hop on here at 8 a.m. If I'm on, uh you can just trade with me live and shit and see, see, see how this shit's really done, brother. Definitely. I want to start using my um practice account too. Like, oh, okay. So so the practice, you're gonna go here. You're gonna go to Dominion Market. And I know the person that owns this uh brokerage. So our money, our money, it, you can never trust it a hundred percent, but he he's he's a solid dude, good businessman. Like I, I'm comfortable with having uh having money in here. Yo, and, like, and then, and then for you, bro, that conversion, bro, like is is immaculate, bro. Like, <laughs> that is immaculate, bro. So you gonna come in here? You are gonna create an account here, right? All right, and then you're gonna create. You're gonna come down to a demo account. You're gonna go. All right, hold on. And then right here, you just create a demo account. And then you can start uh, just playing around with it on your own, bro. And then, um, yeah, that conversion is so crazy, bro. You don't even need a lot, bro. And you, you're paying uh, Bitcoin. So the way we convert that shit is with Bitcoin. You right. go to Coinbase, you turn your JMD into Bitcoin, and then you go, you will send it to this wallet. And then now your money going to show up in your trading account. And then when you need to withdraw, you would send it to your Coinbase and then send that right back to your bank account in JMD. Okay. And, yeah, and, 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 bro, that conversion amazing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, Look. that's and, and from America, like a Black American in a perfect world. Us as as Black Americans from a political standpoint, we completely let niggas down too, for real. You know what I mean? We we have the closest <laughs> access to all of this information. Our our dollar. Is what if you make thirty thousand USD, you're richer than two percent of the world. You see what I'm saying? Thirty thousand USD, and these bitches is talking about. I need a nigga that make three hundred thousand. Like that. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? Not even understanding what the fuck is really going on, bro. So I, right. I think this would be our duty, bro. We gotta go. Like if I was on my Pan Africanism wave, I, yeah. I, I'm obligated. To, to come back and help and because and i oh. have this is the privilege that i have bro so i i love doing this shit bro and you make that shit in usd bro come on man come on you don't even need a lot bro you don't mm -hmm. even need a lot bro so my pleasure brother my pleasure so i i, I talk bro to you brother all right thanks so much bro if any questions i'll i'll let you know yeah send it to me on the whatsapp cool bro no flow right.